One of the things that differentiates Microsoft Streets and Trips from a personal navigation device or an online mapping service is the ability to easily import thousands of your own locations and place them exactly where you want them on your map. It's my point, exactly where I want it. Loyal Streets and Trips fans have enjoyed a comprehensive set of unique and colorful pushpins, helping consumers plan vacations and business people plot opportunities with fantastic detail. Streets and Trips 2009 includes several new important enhancements that you'll want to take advantage of. However, the push pin set in this release doesn't include the variety of pins that previous users have come to rely on. Here's how you can quickly get all your old favorite push pins added to your new Streets and Trips 2009 software. First, Click on the Streets and Trips 2009 Push Pins Update link on the Update web page. This is a new Streets and Trips map template that includes both the new push pins as well as push pins from previous versions. Save the file to your desktop. Now you're going to navigate to the folder on your computer that holds the default Streets and Trips 2009 template that was included with your software installation. The address of the location for both Windows Vista and Windows XP users is shown in the white box. You can manually navigate your way down to the template folder using this information, but here's a tip to save a little time. Copy the correct address for your operating system from the white box. Since I'm using Windows XP, I click my left mouse button and highlight the entire address for Windows XP users, making sure I get the whole thing. Then I right click and choose Copy. Now I go down to the Start button, right click and choose Explore. I click in the address box, right click the mouse and choose Paste. I confirm I have the correct drive letter at the beginning of the address. Streets and Trips installation defaults to the C drive, so if you installed on another location, make sure you change the designation to reflect the proper drive. Hit the Go button and you'll be taken right to the folder where the default map template resides. Now rename the existing file New North American Map.stt to Old New North American Map.stt. Do this by right-clicking on the file, choose Rename, and type Old in front of the name. This way, if you ever want to revert to this default template, all you'll have to do is click Rename again and delete Old. Now, go back to the map file that you just downloaded to your desktop. Right-click and choose Cut. Then go back to the location where you just renamed the map template to Old, right-click and choose paste. And that's it. Close the window and open up your Streets and Trips 2009. You'll now see all the new pushpins as well as all your old favorites. Thanks to Larry over at the Streets and Trips space for creating this update. Also, thanks to Marvin at Laptop GPS World for highlighting this issue in his forum. Click their links on the update page and let them know you appreciate their work.